I love Warhammer and I love painting Rust. So when Dirty Down Rust came on to the scene, I was of course super intrigued. Um, I saw some pictures and I thought that there is no way that this works. And then I watched some videos and I thought, yes, way that this totally, totally works. Um, and then like anything cool and interesting, my dumb brain immediately was like, how does this work and can I make it? So I started off by uh, priming a Stormcast shield with just Iron Warriors from Games Workshop. Um, this is a model that I wasn't super happy with the brush on primer job that I did. It's kind of thick and gunked up the details and while this normally wouldn't be ideal for a miniature, I thought for testing rust it was pretty perfect. One of the key attributes of Dirty Down Rust is that it has this duotone thing going on. You know, it has these really saturated oranges and then murky muddy browns also. So to create this, I figured I would suspend some sort of orange pigment inside of a brown ink. And I started this off by scraping an orange colored pencil to create a sort of pigment powder. I think you really want to use one of the lower end colored pencils. You want something with like a waxy finish, something that kind of naturally um, separates from the ink. And some of my earlier trials, I used more of an artist grade colored pencil and that pigment in there is actually water soluble. So I ended up just mixing with the ink and kind of creating a new color instead of separating. So make sure that you're using yeah, a lower end colored pencil for this. Once you have a little pile of you know, orange dust going, uh, off to the side, I mixed up some sepia ink with water to thin it down. Um, I did this outside of the pigment powder just so that I would have the correct consistency of the ink before I went and mixed it. Then I went ahead and mixed it all together and applied it to my Stormcast shield. Just wanted to make sure that I have some thin areas and then some other areas where it's pooling so we can get a variety of effects. And here it is dried. Pretty cool. So did I succeed in making my own dirty down rust effect? Well, it's more of a knockoff, but as far as one coat weathering goes, I think it does a great job and I had a lot of fun doing it, which is super rad too. I think this is a lot more subtle than Dirty Down Rust, but it still totally has its uses. Like I said, it's, you know, one coat, you get something cool, and because it's more subtle, it definitely lends itself to things like Space Marines or Stormcasts or anything that's not just a bucket of rust. And because we're mixing it ourselves, I can see someone using like a more of an aqua colored pencil for like verdigris effects or maybe violets or other tones for like Xenos or Chaos stuff. 
I think another big application for this would be for terrain too. Since you're mixing it up, you could do a big batch and slap it all over, something like that. I hope you had fun watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it, so thank you.